welcome back to another video and welcome to my January favorites. So I did skip out on a December favorites because I did do like a best of makeup for 2020. So I felt like it would have been a little bit too repetitive, but I'm back with the favorites videos for January. So I have quite a few items in front of me. So I want to go ahead and just jump right into it. So before we jump in to today's video, please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, especially if you guys enjoy favorites videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys have not already. And by the way, if you guys are interested in this makeup look today, I did make sure to film it. So if it's up already, I'll go ahead and link it down below. And if it is not, make sure that you don't forget to subscribe because you guys do not want to miss out on the video to see how I created this look today. And if you guys are new here, I do post three new videos every single week. So every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we do upload a new video on this channel. And yeah, that's basically it. So we're going to go ahead and jump in into it so let's jump into my January favorites all right you guys so as always I'm not going in any particular order I'm just gonna grab as I go so the first couple of things that I have are from elf which I feel like is not gonna come as a surprise to you guys by the way I did test a ton of this stuff in my testing a ton of elf makeup video if you guys have not seen that video I'll go ahead and link it down below so you can check it out I tested a ton of elf makeup you guys we did a full face of just elf so it's definitely a super interesting fun video so make sure you guys check the description box so you guys can check out that video um, but the first thing that definitely stole the show in that video is the new elf camo CC cream this is their color correcting full coverage and natural finish CC cream this is what it looks like right here I'm also actually wearing the CC cream on my skin today you guys it is beautiful okay it's lightweight it has amazing coverage it's great for every day if you wanted to wear it every day or you can wear it for a full glam like I did today it is gorgeous. I did want to mention quickly, if you guys did already see that elf video, you guys saw that I actually had to mix two different shades in order to get the perfect shade. But then as it dried down, it got a little bit darker. So I did want to quickly mention that the shade Light 210N is my perfect shade. I don't have to mix it with anything. Like I said, it's what I'm wearing today. And I am obsessed. I feel like this would be beautiful for all skin types, you guys. It is just bomb so I am here to tell you you need to go out and buy the CC cream because it is amazing the next elf product I have here is the elf putty blush this one right here is in the shade Turks and Caicos this is definitely my favorite color out of all the putty blushes you guys it is so gorgeous it's the perfect peachy toned blush and the formula of these are amazing they have a matte finish so they're not gonna make you look dewy or glowy which I feel like sometimes I do prefer a matte finish in a cream blush um, I just feel like it's just a little bit easier to not set if I didn't want to because my cheeks don't look really greasy and dewy, you know? So I do love the formula of these. They are amazing and e.l.f. has a ton of colors. So definitely check out the e.l.f. putty blushes because they are bomb. Okay, so the last makeup item I have from e.l.f. is the new e.l.f. Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara. You guys, this mascara is a bomb okay but not for your top lashes I actually don't like it for my top lashes I feel like the formula doesn't really do much for my top lashes but the brush is so bomb for my lower lashes I am wearing it on my lower lashes today and it is so beautiful it grabs every single lower lash hair that you have and it coats them beautifully you guys this mascara is only six bucks you need to pick it up because it is amazing. So those were the only makeup items from e.l.f. that I have been loving. All right, guys, so I actually forgot one other makeup item from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. You guys, obsessed, okay? I also used it today. This is amazing. If you've tried the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, this is on another level like this one is better than the milk hydro grip primer you guys know I always talk about the hard candy uh, sheer and dehydrating primer that's the one that everyone has been talking about saying that that one is a dupe for the milk hydro grip primer but ever since elf launched this one I'm telling you guys this is like 10 times better than the milk one it's amazing it is green just like the milk one but literally as soon as you put it on your skin it's already tacky you do not have to wait for this to get tacky it's tacky immediately and it really does grip onto your foundation it is insane this is so so bomb this entire mint collection was just really beautiful i do have a couple other things 
from the mint collection that I have been loving. So the second thing is actually this right here. This is the e.l.f. Mint Melt Cleansing Cloud. You guys see me use this in that e.l.f. video as well, and I love these. I have two of these and four of the original black and white ones, which actually have one in front of me, so let me just show you guys what those look like. So this is what the original one looks like right here. It is the e.l.f. one, but the other one that you guys seen is just a part of their mint collection, so it's like a nice and minty green color. Um, but the original one looks like this. You guys, these are so affordable. I will say it's kind of hard to get your hands on because these are always sold out. I got mine on Ulta's website. Um, but yeah, if they're still in stock, I'll go ahead and link them down below so you guys can go ahead and check them out. And of course, all these products are going to be linked down below as always so you guys don't have any problems finding anything. So definitely these, you guys, honestly, I use this thing every single day. I wash my face with it. I use it to take off face masks when I do face masks. It's just overall such a multi-use product and I honestly love it. The last e.l.f. product that I want to talk about is the e.l.f. Mint Melt Minty Fresh Cooling Cleanser. This is what the cleanser looks like right here. You guys, I love this cleanser. It is so nice. It's a foaming cleanser that does not dry out your skin. If you guys don't know, I do have more normal to dry skin, so I have to be careful with foaming cleansers. But this one is so bomb. It smells like mint. And honestly, the best part and what I love about it the most is once I'm finished washing my face and I completely wash off the cleanser, my skin has a minty feeling to it. Like, it's bomb. Like, I can't even describe it. It is just amazing. You definitely need to check this out, you guys. It is so, so good, and it definitely leaves your skin feeling really nice and clean. I've been using it every morning. It's just so nice and refreshing, and it's just amazing. I know that the Mint Melt collection is only on the e.l.f. website at the moment. Um, I haven't seen it anywhere else. Hopefully it comes to Ulta soon, but for right now, I believe you can only get it on the e.l.f. website in case you guys are interested. Alright guys, so since we're talking about cleanser, I have another cleanser that I've been loving, and it's actually the cleanser that I'm currently using during the nighttime, because like I said, I'm using the e.l.f. one during the day, and I'm literally out of this bottle. I probably have one more use, and it's completely done. This is the Tatcha the rice wash this is what it looks like right here you guys I finished this cleanser so quickly it was insane I did not even realize how much I enjoyed this until last night I went to wash my face and I was like oh my gosh this is like empty it is so nice it kind of feels like it has a little bit of the rice polish in it it's almost like a cleanser and exfoliator but it's gentle enough to where you can use it every single day so every single time you're using this cleanser your skin is getting a little bit of exfoliation which I feel like is nice and it just overall feels amazing on the skin. Another thing I've been loving is this. This is from the brand The Inky List and this is the first thing that I've ever tried from this brand. This is their Oat Cleansing Balm. When I actually seen this on Sephora's website, I was like, oh my gosh, that thing must be super tiny for $9. You guys, I believe I paid $9 for this. Super, super affordable. It is insane. And it's basically like a cleansing balm. So if you guys have been around for a while, you guys know I love and I definitely stand by the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I will pop up a picture right over here for you guys to see exactly what the product looks like. It is an amazing cleansing balm and it smells so good, but the price point is insane. And I am here to tell you that this is a dupe. It doesn't have the really nice scent that the Elemis one has but it does the trick it is the same color it's a nice thick balm all you need to do with this is go ahead and wet your face a little bit take a little bit of this I really work it into the skin and when I tell you guys this breaks down every single ounce of makeup that you have on your face whether you're wearing waterproof mascara a full beat highlight contour purple eyeshadow even my pink eyeshadow today all I need to do is go in with this of course I double cleanse and after I remove this I go in with my cleanser just to make sure everything is completely off um, but I'm telling you guys this honestly does the trick and because it is more of a cleansing balm it does not strip your skin which I love so definitely recommend this like I said you can get the inky list at Sephora the next thing that I want to talk about is my moisturizer I feel like I've spoken about this moisturizer before but I feel like it's also been a little while and we're growing on here so we have a ton of new people on here so hello to all my new subscribers so I did want to go ahead and just re-mention this moisturizer because this is my daytime moisturizer 
It is amazing. This is from the brand The Ordinary, which I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with. It's a super affordable skincare brand. And this is their natural moisturizing moisturizer. You guys, this moisturizer is massive. Okay, I've had this one for a while but it is so nice as a daytime moisturizer. It is very, very lightweight. If you guys have oily skin, dry skin, normal skin, combo skin, it is going to work for you. It's amazing, and just like with the Inky List, it's a super affordable brand, so you're getting this huge bottle, which is 3.3 fluid ounces, for I want to say maybe around 12 or 10 bucks. I'm going to go ahead and leave it down below like I said. Um, but it is so affordable you guys. It's insane and it leaves my skin feeling so nice and moisturized. The only thing with this is it doesn't have an SPF. So I do have to go in with an SPF after. But I don't mind because I love this. It is so so good. You guys definitely need to try it if you have not tried it already because it's bomb okay you guys so the last three things that I have to share with you for this month's favorites are hair care items so the first thing here is the brand Ava NYC I hope that's how you pronounce it this is the therapy session hair mask this is what the hair mask looks like right here you guys this is a massive jar okay this thing it looks like I've never even used it but when I tell you that this is the nicest hair mask Ever. It is so bomb. You guys know I swear by my Briogeo Don't Despair Repair hair mask, but I've noticed that I've been gravitating towards this more often. And you guys, the scent, I've never smelled a hair mask that smells as good as this. And the best part is this is actually a more affordable brand. So if you're someone who cannot go and spend $30 on a hair mask, I completely get it. This one is the bomb. It leaves my hair so soft, so shiny. I actually just washed my hair last night and I put this hair mask in. Typically when I wash my hair and put in a hair mask, I know sometimes the directions call for you leaving it in your hair for about 10 to 15 minutes. I leave mine in for as long as I possibly can. So the bare minimum would be an hour, but I try to leave it on longer. And this is usually the result. I did of course go ahead and flat iron my hair, but guys, honestly, the smoothness, the shine, it's honestly all because of this hair mask and another product that I'm about to show you. So this next product here is from Olaplex. You guys know I love me some Olaplex. I swear by it. It's amazing. If you still have not tried anything from Olaplex, girl, what are you waiting for? Because it's so good. This is the Olaplex Bonding Oil. This is what it looks like right here. And when I tell you guys, I use this so often and it honestly looks like I've never touched it. It is amazing. So I use this in my hair when it's damp because this actually is also a heat protectant. I do put it in my hair damp, but I also did apply some just now. And I'm telling you, no matter how much of this oil you put in your hair, it does not make your hair look oily, which I love. So usually when I style my hair the next day, I'll just put a little bit more of this. And even after putting this in my hair for three or four days, my hair is still does not look or feel oily which is amazing so I have been loving that and then the last hair product is something that you guys actually see me haul not too long ago and I love it I'm here to tell you that it is so worth it and you need to go and pick it up if you guys have issues like me and you have the worst flyaways when I tell you guys I have like an overwhelming amount of flyaways. It's ridiculous. This product has changed my life. This is the Way Matte Pomade. This is what it looks like right here. So what I used to do is spray a ton, when I tell you guys a ton, like a ridiculous amount of hairspray all on the top of my head because the flyaways just would not go down, like they would not stay down. This product works, okay? So a little bit goes a long way. So as you guys can see, I've been using it quite a bit, but basically what I do is just take some out take a little bit in between my fingers and kind of rub it together like this and then I just go ahead and basically just like smooth down the hair. Usually the worst flyaways that I have are like right in the front of my face where my hair kind of frames my face. So like I said, I just take a little bit of this, work it in between my fingers and then just kind of like rub it across the hair strand and the flyaway is gone. Girl, it's like it never freaking existed. This is definitely a miracle product and the best part is it does not leave your hair sticky. It completely dries down. It's a matte pomade so it has no shine to it and it does not leave your hair gunky which means the next day your hair still feels really nice and clean and it's just it's amazing I love it so I'll also go ahead and link this down below so you guys can check it out 
And yeah, that's basically it. That was basically all the items that really stood out to me in the month of January. Let me know down below if you guys have tried any of these products. Do you hate them? Do you love them? Also, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys have been loving in the month of January. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and enjoyed this monthly favorites. And of course, as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!